Hey, Grace Church. Um, man, what weird times we're living in. I've been uh, processing through the announcement we made on Tuesday, and I think that uh, I've been talking with our, I know I've been talking with our uh, campus reopening team who's done such a good job. You can, I wanted to, to shoot this video here in the sanctuary so you can see how, um, if you haven't attended yet, you see how spaced out we've got everything at least six feet apart, probably more than that. Um, our screening station is right back there. We take everybody's temperatures when they come in. We ask everybody to bring a mask. We have masks for those who may forget. Um, really trying to do everything we can to be loving and safe in this time. And um, the research I've been doing is, has been showing that um, spending time indoors together is one of the main, if not the main ways, well, the main way that um, COVID-19 is, is spread. And so I uh, really want to make this a safe place because here's, here's the deal is um, right now everything we're doing is kind of a community contract, uh, working together as best we can with all of our different beliefs and understandings. Uh, the different data that's coming out and you know it's, it's very frustrating but that's how science works you know uh, everything is true until it's proven to be not true and so information and data can change as, as things go along and that's been very frustrating during this whole situation and so um, um, and, and, and again how there's different issues coming in is, is, is are, are our leaders handling these things correctly and which things are they not handling correctly? And yes, they've been inconsistent and and uh, uh, and, and different things. And, and that's I feel for them <laughs> in trying to make a decision, uh, making decisions for this small community at Grace Church. Uh, how difficult that can be uh, to want to do the right thing, um, and and uh, knowing it's going to impact so many different people in so many different ways. Um, so we're in this together. It's a community contract. You know, um, um, we all have rights and we all have knowledge. And, and sometimes the best thing to do is, is, is to uh, love instead of proving our knowledge or, or love instead of proving our rights. And of course, Jesus Christ is a great example of that. So what we do affects each other. And, and um, I, I am just not comfortable um, telling everyone um, what they are allowed or not allowed to do. Um, but at the same time, we have to have some kind of community contract to make all of this work. And so the standards that we have adopted are the standards that the state has asked us to adopt. Um, and and, and um, I appreciate the state seeing us as more um, um, essential, more and more essential. We this is an essential service. This is life, and worshiping together and, and and being the church together is is essential. And we don't always have to do that face to face and in person, but that is part of it. And so, um, I appreciate that 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 we are still uh, allowed to gather and meet, even while in our county restaurants are not allowed to have people eat indoors. And so. Um, we're still um, allowed to meet indoors, and I appreciate that. And, and we've been asked to wear masks while indoors, and we've been asked to not sing while indoors. And so um, last week I said, you know, we have a speaker set up outside that you can uh, um, um, go out and, and listen to worship. If you think someone may be in here singing behind their masks, because we are going to wear masks the entire, entire time here, um, if you're uncomfortable knowing someone may be singing behind their mask during the song portion of the service, we have the speaker set up outside. You can go and enjoy the fresh air and enjoy the worship. If, if you agree with me that you believe it's unwise to sing inside without the proper ventilation, and we don't have proper ventilation in here right now. We just open doors and have fans blow, and we do the best we can. Um, th then you can go sing outside. Um, um, but 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 your decision is is in your hands in that way. But here's here's the deal though. If 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 um, half of everyone who comes here does not abide by the standards that we've agreed upon, then the standards mean nothing. And so we're forcing those people who agree to those standards 
to either submit to a higher risk they're not comfortable with or to stay home. And so the standards mean something or they mean nothing. And so we're not going to police you here at Grace Church when you come to worship. We're not going to come by and, and, and see if you're, you're, you're singing behind your mask. We're not going to um, um, probably police you with the mask. We may ask you to put the mask on, and if you say no, we're not going to call the police on you. However, if too many people don't abide by the standards, then we'll have to forego in-person meetings. And that's not a warning. That's not a threat. That's just the nature of being in community and having communal contracts, whether official or uh, uh, just just uh, uh, agreed upon. And we do have a, an official community contract that a, a team of Grace Church Gracers has put together. So that's that's how we'll meet on Sunday, and, and, and I pray we'll come together with joy, with excitement to see each other, to be in each other's presence in the Spirit, and to seek His will and His heart for, 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 for us together, how we can best love God because He loved us, and, and love each other because His love overflows out of us. And I pray with all my heart that we would set an example for the world, that they would see that to us, Christ's love shared together is more important than, than anything else. And, and however we handle our rights, however we handle a pandemic, that, that, that we, we handle it to show Christ's love and, and, and not anything else. So we'll see you on Sunday, um, whether here in person or on the interweb. Um, hope you join us. It's going to be a really awesome time kicking off the book of Romans. I think you'll enjoy it. So we'll see you then. Talk to you later.